Good day viewers, TechX Software here, doing my first impressions of uh, Windows 10, the actual full release. So, I think it's pretty good. I like the new kind of, I like some of the flat things here. I like the flat views of this and this and such, but I'm not actually a fan of the flat taskbar at the bottom. It's just, just not, not, eh, just eh. I think I prefer the 3D version of this one. And start start menu button can do better. And actually, speaking of start menu, it's actually pretty good. Um, the, these tiles are really are quite good, but they seem like they're definitely for touch screen. <laughs> most of the, most of this actually seems like more of a touch screen. But I am in P PC mode. But I guess that's okay, I guess, because they're trying to design for both, but I still prefer... The, I, I'm, just, I'm using Windows computer, make it less touch looking based. Like, these don't need to be this big, seriously. You can fit, like, three rows of stuff in here. I guess I can always make it smaller. This is on small. Make it small. It's still touch screen based. It needs to be more like this, I think. Yeah. It needs to be more like this kind of area. Um, to get rid of this, I like the resizing of this. I just leave it like this because meh. It's pretty okay. Can you click the power button? This comes up. So they should probably rename this the power button, or they should have like a drop menu like this does. Have like a drop drop list, and you click this because it kind of looks like you're pressing the power off button and. The new snap features are pretty good because I'm actually using three monitors. And also, the thing about three monitors, the multi desktop feature is great. And look, I got Skype. So, yeah, um, pretty good, sweet. But on three monitors, you can just easily drag and drop something into another desktop, adds heaps of desktops as you want. Pretty neat. So, talking about the snap feature, it is. Um, it is still a bit glitchy, I would say. So, for example, this taskbar will flash randomly now and then. Um, I think that's probably the Windows problem because you don't have these problems with Windows 7. So, probably a programming problem. Because it's just randomly flashes now and then. But, it's not much of an issue, but it's meh. And also, for some reason, for the three monitors, my cursor sometimes bloops over the edge here. On the right hand side or left hand side, then switch it to monitor, it's like bloop. It's like, it's kind of snap with the mouse. But I think that is mostly due to... So, open this up, double click. Because, you stop here, well, not always dragging a um, um, window across, but anyway, I mean without dragging anything. It's actually pretty good. I like this kind of feature on the monitors. It's, it's used to, I used to have a program which has fake versions of taskbar, which was pretty good. Forget the name of it, but this is actually pretty neat. And you can go in straight to the corner. Bam! Awesome. Um, I like it. it's pretty quite productivity, it's pretty good. Um, I'll give it um, 7.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, then you've got the Cortana thing. It's neat. But you, the only thing I use it for is searching my documents and stuff. Uh, I don't use I use Microsoft Edge. It needs more things. For me to use it, it and it would be great if it can be multiple devices. And yes, I do use Chrome, it uses heaps of RAM. But I got heaps of RAM, so it doesn't matter. But Chrome is getting a little bit slow for some reason. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this review. I think it's pretty pretty good OS, Bet way better than the rest. And um, subscribe if you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.